So real quick guys before this video starts make sure to let me know which sneakers do you want to see against each other Next week's episode I'll make it like a Sunday thing every Sunday I'm gonna upload like an episode of sneaker battle which I'm gonna compare two sneakers So let me know which, which sneakers you want to see in the next weeks and I hope you enjoy this thing I'm doing on my channel So hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Thank you very much for tuning in back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, it will mean so much to me. And like this video if you enjoy this thing I'm doing on my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. First day shoes, I got the idea from Walid. Shout out to Walid for commenting on my video and telling me which shoes to, to compare today. And I've got the Nike Air Max 720 against the Ultra Boost, he wanted to see that. So let me know guys what you think, which one is better, which one do you like more? Let's go and compare the shoes. So here you go, it's just, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna talk about those two colorways in particular, I'm just gonna talk about the whole design, the whole shoe, doesn't matter which colorway. What I'm gonna say is gonna include all the colorways and everything about the shoes. So yeah, first of all, let's talk about comfort wise. Comfort wise, Ultra Boost wins this round easily. I love the Ultra Boost and I think they're much more comfortable than 720. I noticed that it's so, like when you wear them it's weird, I don't know why, the fit is weird, like you feel the air just on the back part and here you feel nothing, I don't know why. And when you step on it, it's just weird, so for me, in this first round, the Ultra Boost wins the comfort round. So yeah, moving on to looks wise, for me, I don't know, I, I thought those would look much better than the Ultra Boost in real life, but after I saw them, I don't know, maybe because they're not as comfortable, I just think the Ultra Boost look nicer. Yeah, I found them really, really much better looking and easier to style than the 720s. So, when it looks, I also choose the Ultra Boost, so that's two love for the Ultra Boost. Moving on to quality, that's the most important, that's like one of the most important things when you buy a shoe. You wanna know how the quality is. For me, I'm really disappointed with this one, with the 720s. Maybe they will fix that in the future releases, but like... The quality on this one was really bad, so I, I have, to, I know so many Ultra Boosts are also messed up, but for me, I don't know, I, the only ones I bought were like, okay, I didn't have problems with them. So on this round, I'm gonna choose the Ultra Boost again, and I'm being honest, I'm being 100% honest, I'm telling you what I like. So I think the quality, I think they will, the Ultra Boost will also hold much longer than 720 with this air unit on the bottom, I don't know, I'm not sure about it. All about this mini swoosh and this part over here. They will start coming out like after a few wears. I saw so many people complain about that. Ultra Boost, you can wear them every day. You can just wear them to death and they will hold. They will hold. So the quality on this one is really, really good. I think on this round, Ultra Boost, it's a close round, but Ultra Boost will win it. But yeah, I will take in consideration this model is new. They're still working on it. For now, the Ultra Boost wins the quality round, which is which makes it 3-0 to, to Ultra Boost. This one is easier to match. That will depend on the colorways, to be honest, more than on looks. But I think both of them are in the same category. Both of them like a sport shoe, everyday shoe. You can wear it with like like a track suit or you can wear it with jeans. You can't, you can't wear it with a suit and go to the Grammys for sure, but... Both of them I think are in the same category, so in this round I think both of them will be a tight round. So each two will take a point, which will make it 4-1 for the Ultra Boosts. Yeah, I think I think they're pretty much the same, in the same category. This one might be a little bit more classy if it was like a black colorway, all black. This is a little bit more sporty, but for now it's just both of them in the same category for me. So last round is the price tag, which Air Max 720 will win it because it costs 190 and the Ultra Boost were like 200. I got them for 100, 50% off, but I mean Ultra Boost in general they cost from 190 to 120 or 250 sometimes, like the Babe collab. But yeah, this one is 190 and it's a little bit cheaper than the Ultra Boost, so. I'll give this round for the Air Max 720, so it's now for 2 the Ultra Boosts win the battle. For me, I really like the Ultra Boosts, I, I know some of, you, some of you will say Ultra Boosts are dead, but they're comfortable, they look nice, why not wear them, I don't care about the hype, I don't care what people say, as long as they're comfortable, as long as they, as they bring out nice colorways, I'm gonna still buy them and wear them. And yeah guys, let me know which shoes you wanna see in the next round, let me know which what else should I talk about in those videos? I don't know, give me tips, I will try and do them. And I really appreciate your love and support and I hope to see you in the next one, peace.